Welcome inside Studio 3. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Today is a very sad day for baseball. It's a sad day for the nation as the Say Hey Kid Willie Mays has passed away. Mays has been considered for years the best player in baseball history, named to 24 All-Star Games, a Rookie of the Year award, as well as two MVPs over his illustrious career, and he did it all with a style and flair that had never been seen before on the diamond. Here now is more on the life and legacy of Willie Mays. Number 24 in your program, number one in your heart, Willie Mays. Say hey, say who, swinging at the plate, say hey, say who, say Willie, that giant kid is great. Long before Willie Mays was a national icon, he was a 20-year-old baseball prodigy, debuting with the New York Giants. It was 1951, the golden age of baseball, and Mays wasn't your typical rookie. He had played professionally in the Negro Leagues since he was just 16 years old, and he brought that league's exciting brand of play with him to New York. Willie Mays gets a great ovation from the crowd. He runs the bases like a choo-choo train. He could do everything on the field. Run, hit, catch, throw. And he did it all with style and flair. I felt that people pay their money to come to the ballpark. I must do something other than just catch the ball or hit a home run. He made casual basket catches to delight the fans and famously wore a hat that was one size too small. That way it's never going to stay on. Fans like to see you go back and pick up your hat. They like to see it come off your head. Willie Mays played like an overgrown kid having the time of his life. And when the press noticed his habit of forgetting names and simply yelling to get your attention, they gave him a nickname, the Say Hey Kid. Say Willie, what you gonna say? Say hey! Willie Mays would win National League Rookie of the Year honors in 1951 and help the Giants come from 13 and a half down to catch the Brooklyn Dodgers, setting up one of the most famous moments in baseball history. One in which Mays, who was on deck at the time, had a front row seat for him. When Bobby hit the home run, I was the last guy to get the home plate. Everybody else was there shouting. I'm saying, my God. Even though the Giants' luck would run out in the World Series, 1951 was a magical beginning. Few rookies have ever been as popular with a fan base as Willie Mays in New York City. These kids grew up with me. They knock on my window. Uh, I would go out, play stickball for about an hour, two hours, and then I buy everybody ice cream. Unfortunately for Giants fans, Mays would spend the next two years in the Army after being drafted. But when he returned in 1954, Mays and the Giants picked up right where they left off. The Say Hey Kid led the league in batting and captured MVP honors. In that year's World Series, Mays was the one making the highlights as the Giants swept the Indians. There's a long going way back in center field, way back, back in his That play would become known simply as the catch and attained an iconic place in sports history. Do you feel that was the greatest catch you ever made? If they say it's the greatest, I, I take that. You'll go along with that. I'll go along with that, yeah. When a moment is attached to a truly iconic player, then it takes on added meaning. If Joe Jones makes a back to the plate catch in the World Series, it's still a great play, but it's not Willie Mays, and therefore it doesn't stay in the imagination. More than six decades later, the catch still resonates. Willie Mays style catch. The Willie Mays. Shades of Willie Mays again. In a way, Willie Mays became our touchstone to a bygone era a time preserved in grainy black and white. The next World Series would be the first broadcast in full color. And three years after that, in 1958, came the unthinkable. The Giants left New York City and moved west to San Francisco. To all intents and purposes, Willie Mays, greatest player of his time, was starting all over again, having to prove himself to a new set of fans. San Francisco built Willie so high and they found out that Uri was a human being. I strike out, whatever, and they can understand. 
Every time I went to the plate, they were expecting a home run out of me. But why? I mean, why are they bored me? Mays would do his best to win them over. In the 58 season, he set career high marks for hits and average. As a swing But to many in the Bay Area, he was still New York's superstar. And Mays' everyday excellence was lost on fans expecting legendary moments. I just went on and played my game. I, I kept my mouth closed. I never did say anything about anything, but, you know, that's just where it was, you know, in those days, you know. On April 30th, 1961, Mays delivered his first iconic San Francisco moment. The 2 and delivery, and Mays sends another one. It's going far up. Four home runs in a game. Four home runs. It's only maybe eight or nine guys have did that. But I'm so happy that I could be a, a member of a club like that. It's not even funny. And then the next year, Willie Mays led San Francisco to the pennant, hitting a game-winning home run on the last day of the regular season to move the Giants into a first-place tie with the Dodgers. He followed that with a dominant performance in a three-game tiebreaker series to send his club to the World Series. That was more fun to me than hitting four home runs. I would sit in my locker and just laugh. When we did win the uh, Pentagon in LA, we came back home and I would say just about all the people in San Francisco was at the airport. The Giants would eventually fall in heartbreaking fashion to the Yankees, losing game seven on the game's final play. But for Mays and San Francisco, the tide had turned and the love affair would be lasting. Mays's popularity on both coasts helped him transcend sports. The Say Hey Kid was a media darling and a regular sight on popular TV shows of the era. Fans couldn't get enough of Willie Mays, and throughout the mid to late 60s, he continued to play brilliantly, winning another MVP award in 1965, and passing milestone after milestone on his way towards baseball immortality. Mays hits it in the left field. Willie Mays has done it again. He has brought the baseball world to a standstill. For a while, it even looked like it would be Mays, not Aaron, who would pass Babe Ruth's all-time home run record. It's gone, it's a home run for 599 of Mays' career. But all those years of all-out play had begun to take their toll. And soon, even taking the field at times became difficult. As you become slower, uh, you will show you that which uh, at uh, less fast. <laughs> What's that? All right. Okay. All right. Then, in May of 1972, with the Giants rebuilding, they shipped their aging superstar back to the city where it all began, trading Willie Mays to the Mets. Baseball fans in the Eastern Metropolis will tell you this is his hometown. Mays played sparingly in his two seasons in Queens but did get another shot at the Fall Classic, as the Mets would make the World Series in 1973. It is down into the middle. It's going to be a base hit, and the Mets take the lead by a score of 7-6. It's Willie Mays. Bingo through the middle. The Mets ultimately lost to the A's in seven games, and that series would be the last time Willie Mays would ever play on a Major League Baseball field. At 42 years old, the Say Hey Kid would walk away from the game he loved. The game of baseball has been great to me. Something that I never feel that I would ever quit baseball. But as you know, it always come a time for someone to get out. And I look at the kids over here, the way they are playing, and the way they are fighting for themselves, tells me one thing, Willie, Say goodbye to America. Thank you very much. In 1979, Willie Mays was inducted into Cooperstown. The Say Hey Kid was a first ballot Hall of Famer and one of the most iconic players the game has ever seen. The Giants Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays. Over his 23-year career, Willie Mays won Rookie of the Year honors, two MVP awards, and amassed 3,293 hits. He hit 660 home runs to go along with his 24 all-star selections and 12 gold glove awards. 
but in a sport that cherishes numbers. As extraordinary as his were, they somehow still seem inadequate when describing the brilliance of the Say Hey Kid. Baseball is just a wonderful game. Every time I went on the field, I enjoyed what I was doing. And I enjoyed throwing out people. I enjoyed hitting a home run. I gave everything I had. 